Next video. Oh God. Blindfolded dates react or reject each other. Um, are you like big into astrology at all or? Yes. Oh, for sure. Uh, hey, are you big into astrology or anything? Yes. Uh, my ex was really into it. Okay. It really uh, tore us apart. Is, was that a joke? Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out Bro, their they game. explain it every time. We understand how the game works. It's not complicated. It's the easiest show ever. It's the easiest show ever. I'm Alex. Alex, my name's Megan. So tell me what's your job. Uh, my job, I have a couple jobs right now. I'm a barista and I also work at a spa. Would you say you're naughty or nice? I would say I hate I'm the button. Why do you guys make me watch this? I hate the button. I hate the button because of the commentator. Whoever the f is the person, dude, it's so cringe. Whoever the f is the person that is the announcer for this show is the worst person ever. They're so f cringe. They have never asked a good question. Ever. It is always just, are you naughty or nice? Why don't you tell them about how many kids you have? What is your kink? Uh... Nice? Do you like nice boys? I think there has to be a good mix. Like, I think it has to start really nice. I'm hitting that shit. I, e either one of them hit that shit. Good. Good fucking shit. Ooh, not ready Bro anymore. was shaking. Bro was fucking shaking. Fucking jittering trying to hit that shit like she's terrified. Ooh, not ready anymore. Oh my god, he was shaking too. Why are they so nervous? Oh my god, they're both so fucking nervous. This is the most awkward thing I have ever seen. Every other button one is kind of casual. They're both like shivering. Not ready anymore. Awkward. Oh my god. And then they just sat there again. <laughs> Why did you reject me? Just not the vibe. You seem really sweet. I would like hang out with you, but... Why did you reject me? He puts a fucking revolver on the table. Why did you turn me down? You didn't even ask me what my favorite food was. I was doing pretty good. Now I'm blindfolded. <laughs> yeah. the... Does it make you nervous to be blindfolded? Yeah, the last time... Bro's I... wearing the blindfold wrong. Why does it look like he's wearing it wrong? Is he? Is that or is it an oversized fucking blindfold? I'm like, this was training for scuba diving. Is yeah. that like something you do for like work or just fun? Just fun. So you can't see each other. No. Say something sexy. Oh my God. Uh, uh, say something sexy. How do you say something sexy if you can't even see the person? If you've never seen them? Your voice is just like, it's like a melody in my ear. Like, <laughs> I think your voice is pretty sexy. Oh, thank you. Um, you can also hold hands. Oh, no. I'm comfortable with whatever. I'm comfortable with not not holding your hand. That's what I'm saying. Holy shit. Sure. There we go. Hey, what's there your go. name? My name's Brian. What's your name? Brian. I'm Megan. Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's so tell me a little bit about you. I'm a barista, and then for fun, I read a lot. He's hitting that button. Have a lot of you saw play. that change in tone. You saw that change in tone. He he heard barista. He's hitting that shit. Fun. I read a lot. Yeah, his voice. It just immediately went straight face. And I have a lot of house. Somebody said maybe a hug. Dude, who was that guy? Was that the last button video that just came out? That guy that just hugged every person. Plants, and I go out with friends. That's Megan, like, what happened with your hand? It's hard to get. I was worried that people. he was gonna hit it, so I wanted to hit it first. <laughs> well, I haven't even I haven't even been able to learn much. Brian, do you like naughty girls? I'm gonna start ripping my hair out. Somebody give me a spoon. I'm gonna scoop my eyes out of my head. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is the worst button ever. Every other video, they ask like one question. Dude, they keep asking these weird ass questions. Who doesn't? <laughs> I suppose the next question should be, are you a naughty girl? Absolutely. I used the mistletoe native deodorant today. If both parties can. What? What is the mistletoe native deodorant? Mistletoe native deodorant. Oh my god, it's like lotion. Wait, no, it's not. Okay, no, that's their soap. How is this? How is this make you naughty? Using the native deodorant makes you naughty. It's their ad. Where's? Oh, oh, oh! It was their ad. L, L. My God! Oh my God! Dude, plug the sponsor in a less cringy fucking way. Are you naughty? Yeah. 
I used the native deodorant. Hit the button. Hit the fucking button on her. That pissed me off. Get her out of here. Okay, sure. Where are you? I'm... They're gonna kiss! <laughs> Bro, they've been talking for two minutes. Okay, I'm standing too. <clears throat> Yo, that would be that would be so menacing if either of them while they're kissing uh, while they're kissing mid kiss press the button somebody do it. Wow, that was nice. That was nice. Okay, this is going well, right? Ah, I would have done that shit just to be a dick. I would have just been. Eh, sorry. Yeah, I think so. I think so. The last challenge. Can you take your blindfolds oh, off? God. Most nerve-wracking part. <laughs> you're gonna hate what you see. Oh my God, you're gorgeous. Is this the type of person you normally would date? Honestly, no. Why? <sighs> I don't know. Like even even with looks. Um, I don't have a type, and what did I do? Honestly, I feel like it's because I'm heavy. No. No? That's the vibe I got. Not a problem with me. You are a good kisser, though. Thank you. So are you. You thought... Oh, I'm having a terrible time right now. I'm having a terrible time. That was... I, I was visibly uncomfortable. Do you guys look at me? I was visibly uncomfortable that entire time. I hated that interaction right there. That was so awkward. You're saying he was not attracted to you? Yeah. It's, it's been pretty common in my experience. You talk with someone for a while, and then when they see me in person, they're like, Oh, actually, I don't know if I'm feeling it. That was the vibe I got. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. My name is Nahum. What's your name? I'm Megan. What's your sign? I'm an Aries. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh fucking yeah. Bro, I don't know if he did it because he doesn't like Aries or it was because they brought a fucking astrology sign. Second that shit's up. Oh. <laughs> I was so sorry. I can't. This Aries, I had bad experience. Oh my God, no, never mind. Never mind L, never mind L. Oh my God, uh, dude, that's not a dub. That's not a dub anymore, now that's an L. He didn't press it because he didn't like astrology signs, bro. He, that dick had pressed it. I've had just bad experiences with Aries in the past. And I'm so sorry. Was I the just... button even red? Yes. Okay, my name is Somto. Somto. Okay. Somto. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, what's your... Nahum. Nahum, where are you from? Tigray, it's the northern part of Ethiopia. Bro, she's already fucking inching up on that goddamn uh, button there. Maybe, maybe settle down, ask him a few questions. You're fucking right on that button. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I'm Nigerian. Nigel, okay. Nigel, Nigel, bitch. Bro, she's <laughs> inching that shit. <laughs> so, you both are blindfolded. Yeah. What other senses can we explore? Oh. I guess Oh, see, because their sight's gone. So, see, this is why it's another weird-ass fucking question. So, the only ones left are hearing, which they're already doing, taste, and touch. They're going to smell, make out, or touch each other. Touch? Touch, uh, smell. Hold hands? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Pleasure. What does the other person smell like? Oh. He smells not. Oh, you smell good. Like Do you think he smells naughty or nice? Is this for the sponsor? Is this for this dumbass fucking Christmas deodorant? Is this for the sponsor? Does he smell naughty? What? What, what does he smell bad? Does he smell like he doesn't shower? Is that the question? He smells naughty. You're not going to be able to tell how naughty somebody is sexually by how they smell. I think he smells naughty and I like that. <laughs> do you like naughty boys? Yes. Oh God. <laughs> how much money do you make? Say it on the camera three. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm broke. <laughs> Why are humans so afraid to talk about money? I feel like this is the first date. We should be talking about, like, what's your favorite color? Humans are afraid to talk about money because money is the breed of many insecurities for humans. And, and it, 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 it's, it's very, money, money does everything. Almost. If people don't, and it also is just the idea that in a relationship, if you make a lot of money and somebody's interested you in you because of that, then you are immediately assuming that they're a gold digger. And like shit like that. What is your favorite color? It's royal purple and all gold. Oh, are there gonna be wedding colors? That should be cool. Wow, are we talking about marriage? Yes. Yeah. When I ask somebody what their favorite color is, they tell me like 
tell me like uh, just a, either a regular color or if it's a fancy ass color, it better be a good one. If you hit me with turquoise, press. Listen, uh, listen, you paired the two. Royal orange. <gasps> That should be close. Wow, are we talking about marriage? Yes. Are you ready? Listen, uh, listen, you paired the two Africans in the room together. Is this red yet? <laughs> uh oh. The home beat you to it. No! Why? Well, I know why. Because I brought up marriage. Already understood. You can't take a joke. Yeah, why would you? I mean, it might be a, it might be a joke, but it's also like, God damn, why would you bring up marriage on the first date? On the first fucking date. First time you ever met someone. Hey, what's your thoughts on how many kids you want and marriage? And I understand there is a logical reasoning of like, hey, if... They don't match what I want in terms of how many kids they want or marriage. We would never work. And that's fine. But you still just don't bring it up then. Because that's not all that matters. Oh, okay, well, sh I don't, to be honest, I didn't understand her humor. So I didn't know if it was a joke or not. You don't like funny women? I do, but that didn't make me <laughs> no, laugh. No, you don't. <laughs> that didn't make me laugh. <laughs> Uh, what's your name? My name is Nahum. Now, they, they seemed good for each other. Like, she was so she was so into him, and then he wasn't into her. I feel like that's so upsetting. Because, like, she was funny, she was joking with him and everything, and then he didn't want to do anything with her. Somebody said racist. How is that racist? It has nothing to do with their race. They're they're not even looking at each other. She's now over here. I'm trying to shake your hand. Oh, hi. Pleasure, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nahum's biggest fear is that he won't be able to reproduce children. Your end or my end? My end. His testicles. Yeah, basically. Is, how do That's you your biggest fear, is that your sperm don't work? And why is that a fear? Why is that a fear? Like, I, I, I mean, like, I, the thought has crossed my mind of like, yeah, maybe when I'm older, I'm going to be shooting blanks. But... <laughs> What I'm saying is, is like, you don't, why think about that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why it's a fe spermophobia? That's a thing. I just feel like that's not, like, I, that's not something you, you may have, like, it might have crossed your mind, but like, I'm not like bugging about, like, yeah, damn, like eight years from now, I might not be allowed to be able to have a kid. Like, you cross that road when you fucking get there. Feel about if a partner doesn't want children. I can't. That's like a big deal breaker for yeah, you. Yeah, that's deal breaker. How about you? Do you want kids? Um, I. Wait, wait, she brought up marriage. You hit the button. She brings up kids. You don't hit the button. Marriage is normally before children. So she brings up and you bring up something even later down the line and you don't hit the button. He just didn't like her. That's fucked. Sorry, but also I hope that you do have them. Oh yeah, I will. Trust me, I will. I will. Hello. Hello. I'm Amy. I'm John. What do you do? So I roller skate. Um, and I also dabbling into shooting film. Oh, you're in film. I have a few film cameras and I like to like go to places around the city. I love to like explore abandoned buildings. That's crazy because I'm in film too. Oh shit, what do you do? I'm an actor. You're an actor? Yeah. Okay. I do TV and film. They could be broke together. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was a, that was that was a fucked joke. The majority of film and acting majors make no money. The amount of actors there are and the amount of filmmakers there are comparable to how many are needed is incomparable. Oh, yeah, oh, that's crazy. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. What did he oh. do wrong? What did he do wrong? You literally you matched that your film majors and you hit the button. I just feel like the actor thing. I've dated people who've modeled in the past and they were pretty like self-involved. No, I get yeah, it. Sorry. Yeah. Nope. All good. Button, have you tried the native deodorant yet? I oh, have. Yeah, oh, yo, all the homies fucking hate native deodorant. For the love of God, I hope native deodorant doesn't reach out to me for a sponsor. Because there has been many scenarios where I have shit on products and then they have later came to pay me. And I couldn't do the sponsorship because I've shit on them before. Fuck native deodorant. Your dumbass fucking sponsor. Degree is better. Old Spice is better. It smells like a lump of coal to me. Hi. Hi. I'm Amy. Hi, I'm Matt. Okay. Matt has a deal breaker. Cool. It's people with kids from multiple fathers. Why is that people with kids not a deal breaker? People with kids from multiple fathers, deal breaker. Is that a deal breaker? I don't know. I mean, it shows that you've been in two big committed relationships. 
I think that might be the only thing. But I, I mean, that's it, it is. It, it's not rare that people get divorced with kids. It is more rare that people have kids from multiple fathers. But even so, I don't know why that would be. Ooh, I, I mean, it's not like a fucked up deal breaker, I wouldn't say. But it, it is a bit of a randomly specific one. Is that a deal breaker for you? Does that mean you have a kid? No, is, I, I don't have a kid. Uh, I have no, I have no it kid. just seems like a lot of bag. God. A lot of baggage? Oh my god. Okay, that was a shitty answer. It just seems like a lot of work. I don't really want to- God, I'm such a b I'm Annika. Hi, I'm Amy. Hi, Amy. <laughs> Annika, how old are you? I have a question here. Do they fill out their sexualities before this? Because, like, randomly, they'll do a dude a dude, a girl a girl. Or, like, but most of the time it's guy girl. But, like, do they fill- I would assume so. Because, like, them throwing in- like, what if she's straight? I doubt- that's why I'm assuming they have to- like, she's bisexual. And they're filling in, like, like people based on what they filled out. Because they're definitely not just throwing in guy, girl, whatever. Because, like, they haven't even asked you your sexuality. I'm Annika. Hi, I'm Amy. Hi, Amy. <laughs> yeah, speak up. Say it with your chest. Too- a little too fucking quiet here. Can't hear you. How old are you? I'm 23. Okay. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. But 20, uh, what's wrong with that? 23? What, what is she, like 35? Sorry, Anna. No, that's okay. <laughs> My name is David. Hi, David. I'm from Georgia. Oh, cool. Living here is, um, it's, it's different, but it's cool. I'm liking it. Get her out. Get her out. Dude, yeah, this reminds me of like one of the first episodes of The Button where like some woman was just so picky and then the dude did it too. There's two different episodes where there was a guy and a girl and they just non-stop press the button on like six fucking people. I'm such a bitch. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's fun vibes. How's your day been? Uh, pretty good. What have you been up to recently? AJ, you got your hands really close to me. What are you doing? I'm just <gasps> showing you some love. Oh, okay. Oh, like you haven't just pressed the last six fucking people out. Okay. Sorry. Ooh, can I ask you something? Are you the type of person when you're in the shower, do you wash your legs? Yeah. Because, like, some people just think that the soap just, like, drips. I don't wash my feet. I ain't wash my feet. I'm going to say that shit right now. I ain't wash my toes. You think I'm washing my toes, bitch? No. You can get an A. Nah, 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 nah. And y'all are all going to say ew. And let me, let me, you got foot fungus. Nah. Here's where I'm going to prove you wrong. I ain't ever wash my feet. Unless I'm going to the beach or I'm, like, covered in mud or some shit. You know what I mean? The soap drains down. I'll, I'll wash my leg. Like, I'll wash my thighs and shit. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to, like, just ignore that and assume that the soap from my head is going to fucking clean my whole body. But I ain't washing my toes. Right? They're getting doused in water, whatever. Right? They're not getting really dirty. And all the motherfuckers that are about to say, Joe, you, you got foot fungus. Oh, Joe, you, you probably smell like shit. Oh, Joe, all this other shit. Okay, number one, I don't give a fuck. Right? Number two, you probably got more stanky ass feet than I do. You know why I don't need to wash my fucking toes? Because my toes don't smell. Your feet are those nasty ass feet when, when you go in somebody's house and you take your fucking shoes off. Your fucking socks smell like somebody died. You're that motherfucker where I have to move away from you because your feet smell so bad that it's almost cartoon green wafting smell above that shit. My toes don't smell. My toes have never smelled. I could go on a fucking thick ass run and my feet ain't stanking. Yours do. And that's why you need to fucking uh, wash your goddamn toes. That's not my problem. That's your problem. No, that's weird. How do you face in the shower? But they still have bacteria on them. What are you, licking my toes, bitch? No. Back towards the nozzle. Normally I have to wash my hair so my... Yeah. Motherfuckers are saying prove. What do you want me to make scent cards of my toe smell? What the fuck? How do you prove how your feet smell? Normally have to wash your hair. Why don't you always have to wash your hair? It's not good to wash your hair every day. Um, are you like big into astrology at all or? Yes. Wait, what the fuck did, were they just talking about? How do you face in the shower? What way are you facing? My back towards the nozzle. Normally I- How do you face in the shower? Cause like some people just think that the soap just like drips down. No, that's weird. How do you face in the shower? What way are you facing? I don't face one way in the shower. I, I'm, I'm rotating. You know what I mean? I'm not facing one way. Cause like you have to rotate to get your whole body. Like normally I would face the shower head, but like you're rotating. So you like wash your fucking body. Like how the hell are you going to get your back if you're facing it? Hair, so my... You normally have to wash your hair? Why don't you always have to wash your hair? It's not good to wash your hair every day. Um, are you like big into astrology at all or? Yes. Oh, for sure. My ex was really into it. Okay. It really, uh, tore us apart. Is, was that a joke? Yeah, yeah Taurus is a, is a sign. 
I, I want her to press the button now. I was kind of mad that she was shitting on everybody, but now I I really want her to press the button. I really want her to get him out for that. That was a bad joke. I think he needs to know that that was a bad joke. You know what I mean? Like, when I make a shitty joke, my chat's like cringe. Oh my god, that was bad. Like, when I said that dumb shit about a goose's skin. <laughs> Why the hell are you rejecting me, Amy? That was the worst joke I have ever heard. Oh that shit was terrible. That shit was actually terrible. Okay, give me one of your jokes, Amy. Bless you, you're a good one. <laughs> no putting me on the spot. Um... Turn right again. <laughs> Stop! I mean, okay, I'm more- I think that's dumb that he's doing that because when you- When you say to someone, tell me a joke, you're not going to be able to do anything, right? Like, when I'm humorous, I'm responding to something. When you tell someone to be humorous, they have nothing to respond to. Most people are unfunny in, like, co comedic, like, sketch style, but funny in, in situational funniness. It's two different comedies. I'm a wit person, so I'm not like a, I'll tell you, like, a knock-knock joke. That Taurus joke wasn't witty? It was, it was, it was very so funny. lame. It's like, you, it's like you were back there. It was, a bad, it, was, it was not even a dad joke. It was a bad dad joke. It was a shitty dad joke. For, like, ten minutes. I'm a lot smarter. I'm than sorry. That, you know what I'm uh, I'm smarter than that. Okay. Uh, I don't like your joke. I'm sorry. This was an honor. Yes. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Let's have you both leave. I think we didn't have any matches this yeah. round. Too many. No Yo, hold up. Experience naughty and nice holiday sense. Yo, fuck it. native. Yo, fuck. Yo, fuck this dumbass deodorant. Fuck this dumbass deodorant. Do not buy this dumbass deodorant. <laughs>